God's cre oh yeah, thank you, brother. <laughs> My faithful song leader brought me back. God's creation. And I'm looking at all these creatures. And I'm saying, okay, all that came out of a bang. What kind of idiot believes that as complex as this earth is, as complex as, as life is, and all the variations of life, did you really believe that a bomb went off in outer space and somehow or another everything you see in the sea, on land, in the air, light, you believe all that evolved from some sea sponge? Because that's what evolution teaches, that we were all at one point sea sponge. In other words, next time you see SpongeBob, say, hello, granddaddy. <laughs> what kind of nut? would believe that all of this just evolved from an explosion. When you look at the earth, what you see is creation. And if you see creation, then there has to be a creator. And if there's a creator, then surely he has some kind of order for his creation. Have you ever bought a cell phone, a DVR, a computer that didn't come with an owner's manual from the creator? The creator gave us a manual. The creator had a plan. If you want me to give you a book report about the Bible, this is what I'll tell you. The Bible tells us where we came from, where we're going, and how we're going to get there. The whole creation glorifies Jesus. It was all set in motion to give him glory. God knew Adam would sin when he created him. How else could the lamb have been slain from the foundation of the world in Revelation chapter 5? The day, oh my God, the day that God took Adam and formed him in a spirit and took dirt and formed his body and breathed life into that body. At that moment, he knew this man will sin against me. This man will turn on me. But he had already put a plan together. He wasn't confused. He was not alarmed. He knew man would sin, but he had already put a plan in motion. He had already consulted with his son that if we make this man and if we give this man a law, we know this man will break it. But it is through this that we will communicate our love for man when we die in his stead. Hallelujah. God did not make man and then give him a bunch of rules that if he obeyed all of them, he could get to go to heaven. God created man knowing he would fail, knowing he would need a redeemer, and it would be through that plan of redemption that God would be able to reveal to that man that I love you. That's what religion doesn't understand. Religion is all about rules, ordinances, organ, uh, 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 laws. Do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Ah, you got that not order, you're going to hell. <laughs> Only reason God even implemented the law. <sighs> the only reason God even implemented the law, according to Romans chapter 4 and 5, was to magnify sin so that all men would have to acknowledge, yes, I'm guilty. Because there were men that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression. That means they had not done what Adam did and they were saying, wait a minute, we didn't do what Adam did, why are we dying? And God said, oh, you think you're better. Well, I'll make a law and let you really see my heart. So he wrote a law that included Ten Commandments. But the Ten Commandments are not the, the, the total law. They were just social laws that would bring peace to man so we wouldn't kill each other. God knew that man would exterminate himself. So he put the Ten Commandments in place. He said, look, don't kill. But he knew folk would kill if somebody stole from him. So he said, don't steal. And he knew that man would really kill if somebody slept with his wife. So he said, don't commit adultery. But he knew 
knew that adultery would begin when you covet what's not yours. So he said, don't covet the other man's wife. Because he's going to go steal a gun and come down and kill your crazy self. Well, yeah. Ten Commandments just keep, just keep, just keep social harmony. There were over 300 laws, 365 of them to be a matter of fact, one for every day of the year. The law had 365 ordinances. And God gave that so that no man could say, oh, I've kept that. Romans 4 says the law made every man guilty. Why did God want to make every man guilty? So that he would look for another way to be saved. Not by ordinances, but through an exchange. Then he gave us the exchange. He filled the Old Testament with pictures of it. And it was always a lamb. And then Jesus shows up and says, I'm the lamb. There's your exchange. Whew. 